everyone, it's Krista, former visa officer, here to talk to you about F1 student choice and whether or not where to go to school matters for your visa application. So I want you to think about it this way. We get this question a lot, and to me, the answer seems obvious. Yes, it matters where you choose to go to school, but there's still some confusion about it because there are so many universities in the United States. There are so many choices, places, states, state schools, public, private, big, large, small, all kinds of varying factors that kind of do make it confusing to, to say, okay, where am I gonna choose to go to school? And how is that gonna impact my visa interview? But the basic answer is that yes, where you go, choose to go to school does influence your visa interview. You can be approved to go study anywhere in the United States that's able to issue an I-20. However, you have to realize that when you're talking to the visa officer at your visa interview about your choice of school, this is your chance to get the visa officer to see that your case makes sense, that you are a real student, that you're really planning to go study. Now, if you go to a school that is really well known that the visa officer will definitely have heard of. You got into Stanford or you got into the University of Michigan or you got into the University of Florida, right? Those are all very good schools that the visa officer almost inevitably will have heard of. When the visa officer sees someone going to a school that they have heard of, immediately gives the application more legitimacy. Okay, this person has gone through a rigorous qualification exams, application process, sent in test scores, been tested for their English level, right? There's all kinds of factors that go into admittance at a university that's very well known and, you know, very well regarded. So going to a big school with a big name that's well regarded, even if it's not a big school, but it's got a name, the, the East officer is inevitably going to recognize it as a decent or good school in the United States. That is going to put you in an advantage for the visa interview because the visa officer already is not going to really have to ask you, oh, where's this school? Why did you choose this school? I've never heard of this school. Who told you about it? Where did you find it? Those kinds of questions, the visa officer, if you're going to a school that has they've never heard of, that it's very uncommon, it's a very small school maybe in a, in a smaller state that isn't super prestigious or anything like that, they're going to have a extra layer of questioning. How did you find this school? What is good about this school? How does this school makes sense with your application and your aspirations as a student in the United States. So it's almost like you have an extra question, an extra layer to answer when you go to your visa interview presenting a lesser known school or a lower quality school in the United States. That does not mean you cannot get a visa approved if you are choosing a school that isn't as well known. Clearly you can, but you have to realize that you have more work to do. You have to make this application make sense to the visa officer in a way that you wouldn't have to do that if you were going to a school that the visa officer immediately recognizes. So school choice is one factor in the visa interview. It's something the visa officer is thinking about and if they've never heard of the school, they're gonna have extra questions for you. You wanna be really prepared to give them a coherent, convincing answer that demonstrates that you're a real student, that you're clearly intending to go to the United States to finish a degree and use it to build your career when you return to your home country. Thank you.